<sighs> it's hot now. Wow. Three day old hair. Do I care? Yes. It's like being in a relationship, isn't it? We started off trying really hard. And now you've seen me in bed hungover. You've seen me on a sad day. This is just it. It's you and me. We're in this together. Right. Look, I put this mic here because I was like, I need something to go on the table. And now I feel like I'm hosting a late night chat show. I'd love that. That'd be well fun. Please welcome my first guest, Emma Watson. Emma, I like your acting. Can I have your number? This wasn't an audition tape. To keep the relationship metaphor going. Every now and again, I like to surprise you with a good date, but sometimes I'm just tired from work. So I thought today we'd do that assumptions bollocks that everyone's been doing. So I went to Instagram and I posted this. I assume the weather is fucking awful as per. Actually, as previously discussed, I'm sweating. I was sat in the balcony for a really long time. We're getting there, lads. Slowly but surely we're getting there. It's gonna be a very sunny Glastonbury weekend. I'm so excited for Saturday at 7.30. You want a tattoo? Um, well, I've already got one. Those of you who've been around for a while will know. Those of you who don't, it's a tramp stamp. I'm not showing you. I got it when I was 18. I'd had a really bad week. I thought I'd cheer myself up by getting the tattoo I'd always wanted. And I felt so fucking cool. And now as a 29 year old, I just have the word courage tattooed above my ass in kanji. And I did check that it meant what it meant. I've thought about having it covered, but I think it's funnier this way. But I definitely want more. I have this idea for a sleeve, but I can't decide A, which side to go on and B, whether the art will go together. It's just a big commitment. And I don't know if I could pull it off. You don't think you can become an actor because of how hard an industry is? Yes. I think like any creative person, I go between two modes of thinking. The first is what you said, which is like, oh my God, it's so hard. I'll never be able to make it. Like, I don't think I've got the talent or the energy, the drive, the tenacity. And there are so many people who want it. Why should it happen for me? And then the other side is, well, it has to happen for someone. And why shouldn't it happen for me? I've got the talent. I've got the skill. I think part of trying to pursue any career really is finding that sweet spot where you feel the fear and do it anyway. You fully hold the belief that if it's not real, it's not right. This is something I've thought about for a long time actually. And I've sort of done a lot of soul searching. I've really gone inwards. I, I took a retreat. I went to Lake Tipadebo and really thought about it. I meditated for half an hour, didn't speak for four days. And where I arrived was that I truly believe that if it's not real, It's not right. You will make if it's not real, it's not right t-shirts and hoodies and beanies. How dare you? How dare you assume that I am a cash grabber? I would never make money off beanies. You want to wear your fab eye makeup every day? No. Yeah, well, yes and no. I feel great when I'm wearing it, but I want to whip it out so that it isn't regular. Because if you do it all the time, it's less special. I want it to be like a statement. Also, I've got a Pinterest board full of eyes. I want colour. I want big things. I desperately want to go to the Frozen 2 premiere. Partly because I'm excited for the film, but mostly because I have a look already and it would be straight fire. Actually, it would be straight ice. I assume you know both parts in Take Me or Leave Me. I first read this as I assume you do both parts in Take Me or Leave Me and I had never felt so seen. I don't really like Rent. I don't know why. It never really connected with me. I think it's because I saw the film first and the film is not the best. But that song, that song. You prefer on-screen acting and you have a life goal of being in a movie musical. I do prefer on-screen acting. There is nothing like the buzz of a live audience and having that immediate response of making someone laugh or an audible reaction from the audience. There's such a wonderful energy to live performance, but because I love motion picture as a medium and television as well, obviously, I find it to be the perfect blend of all the things I care about. And it helps me that I know how editing and cinematography work. I think it really impacts my performance. It elevates it because I can communicate with the director or the DOP and really understand what they're going for. And I love the vibe of being on set. I love the crew. So yeah, I think I do prefer on screen acting and obviously a movie musical would be the best in the world. I've got my own Jesus Christ Superstar. They're doing unknowns now. We can make it happen. I'm just saying. The thought of touching wet food in the sink makes your skin crawl. It doesn't. But you know what does? When I was in the scouts and I was on wash up duty at camp and you just have to put your hand in a bowl with floating bits of food in it. Blech. You're not as much of a Janet Jackson stand as you let us all to believe. Right. This isn't the time or the place to go into full detail. I will go there if you want. I will make a 40 minute video essay and you will be thankful for it. But suffice to say in the here and now that the moment I heard Janet Jackson's music, it was like the world was finally in Technicolor. It has been the soundtrack to my life. It has helped shape me as a person. And even after 15 years of being a super fan, I can hear a song that I've maybe listened to a hundred times and find something new. She is the queen of all queens and you should bow to her. Secretly has moves. You despise football with a passion. Bitch, I'm from Manchester. I will not stand for this. That's absolutely outrageous. Glory, glory, Man United. We're on our way back. We're gonna come back. We've had a rough couple of years, but I for one believe you like a shit footy team. Ella of Slytherin, we're gonna have some words.